This is William Lane Craig, who has many fans, some of whom describe him thusly. A man regarded by many as the world's leading defender of Christian belief. So how does this professional Christian view life? If, if there is no immortality, all things are permitted, he said, because it all ends up the same, it all comes out in the wash the same. But if there is a God who exists, who loves human beings and has created them in his image and endowed them with intrinsic moral value and unalienable rights, then you have every reason to treasure other persons as ends in themselves. And the desire of pro-life uh, persons to champion the lives of the unborn or the lives of the dying isn't a, a power grab, Mr. Hitchens. It's because they genuinely care about the lives of innocent human beings that they believe are being wantonly destroyed. So it, so there you have it. According to this world-leading Christian apologist, God created us in his own image, that we might have moral value, that we might have inalienable rights. Well, that all sounds good, well, and pleasant, and laudable, until you see how these moral values and inalienable rights manifest themselves in this man's religion, particularly in the Bible. Take, for instance, how the disciples of God show how they have every reason to treasure people as ends in themselves by killing them all. How can the same man who justifies that God has given children moral value and inalienable right justify their slaughter? Now, the more difficult problem is the children. How could God command that the children be killed because these are innocent? And I think what I would want to say there is that God has the right to give and take life as he sees fit. Children die all the time, every day. Uh, people's lives are cut short. God is under no obligation whatsoever to prolong anyone's life another second. So he has the right to give and take life as he chooses. Moreover, if you believe as I do in the salvation of infants or children who die, what that meant was that these the, the death of these children meant their salvation. They were the recipients of an infinite good as a result of their earthly phase of life being terminated. You know, this is the obscenity of religion, that you can get a sane man to stand up in front of an auditorium at Oxford University, no less. Uh, my name's Robbie Strachan. Uh, I'm the president of the Christian Union here at Oxford University. And it is a delight to be joined this evening by William Lane Craig, and justify that children being butchered at the end of the sword, no doubt begging for their lives, was actually good, God-believing men, showing that they have every reason to treasure people as ends in themselves. That the mass murder of these children should be regarded as a mass blessing of these children by terminating their earthly phase of life. Let me just put this into a, a modern perspective. If the people of Abraham had used gas chambers instead of butchering terrified children at the end of a sword, would this Christian still say with a straight face in front of all of those Oxford professors who had invited him? And I think what I would want to say there is that God has the right to give and take life as he sees fit. Children die all the time, every day. Uh, people's lives are cut short. God is under no obligation whatsoever to prolong anyone's life another second. So he has the right to give and take life as he chooses. And even the, as the muffled screams of the children in the gas chambers fell silent, that he would speak of the joy that he felt because... Moreover, if you believe as I do in the salvation of infants or children who die, what that meant was that these, the, the death of these children meant their salvation. They were the recipients of an infinite good as a result of their earthly phase of life being terminated. Let me just make this clear. God does not kill people. People with God kill people. When you can justify the slaughter of children as an absolute good because you think a magic being said it was good, you're not moral, but a monster.